Hi, welcome to your daily practice. Today we're doing a cardio core workout. Starting on the mat, feet nice and wide. Take a big breath up and let it go. Feeling that spine warming up, connecting into our breath, holding low hamstring stretch. Extending the legs. Exhale, bend and stretch. Just taking your time here, whatever feels good. Let the body hang down. Wrapping over towards one leg, arm reaches up towards the sky. And then take it over towards the other leg, opening up top arm towards the sky. Exhale, release back into center. And start to round it up, stacking the spine nice and tall, shoulders down the back. And just starting with some shoulder circles back here. Chest nice and wide. Reverse the shoulders forward. And let's take it into some single arms back. Other arm. And then both arms together. Opening up the chest. Take those big sips of air. Reversing the direction. Take a step to the top edge of your mat. Inhale, reach the arms towards the sky. Exhale, flat back forward into that forward fold. Let all the air out. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine. And then place the hands back down onto the mat, stepping your right leg back. Find your lunge, warming up the hips. Hands come back down towards the mat. Step back into your dog for a second. As you shift into plank, lower yourself down towards the mat, opening up the chest for cobra or up dog. Exhale back into your downward facing dog. And we'll take our lunge to the other side. Right leg steps forward. And then step both feet together towards the top edge of your mat. Lengthen that spine up towards the sky. Exhale, release hands to heart center. Let's do it one more time. Inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And then let's start left leg steps back, low lunge. Sweeping the arms up, open up the chest, front of the body. And then step back into your dog. Finding your plank slowly lower down into the mat, opening up the chest, exhale, back downward facing dog. Left leg will step forward as we find our second side lunge. Releasing the hands down, we step towards the top edge of our mat. Long spine as we lengthen all the way up towards the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center. And let's start moving. Shake it out, shake it out. Little toe taps here, light on your feet. Just get that blood pumping. And always just a reminder, you're welcome to wear tennis shoes. Yeah, especially if you're on a hard surface, always be kind to yourself. We don't wanna uh, put any undue pressure onto the joints. Grabbing that rope, jump rope side to side. little front and back. Little hop, staying on the balls of the feet. And jumping jacks are next. Here we go, opening out and in. Staying light on those feet. Reaching long through the arms, keep the shoulders nice and relaxed. A few more here, almost there. Stay right in the center of the mat. And we're taking it into star jumps. Feet nice and wide, taking the arms up overhead and slowly back down to the side. And knee drives, pulling one knee up to the palms. Staying low in that standing leg. Exhale, pull in, think standing crunch here. Switching sides. Keeping the shoulders relaxed. Taking it down into four. And switch, here we go for four. Let's go two sets of twos. And switch. And switch. Into single counts. Pulling right down towards the thighs. Let's bring it into center into our marches. Nice and tall through the spine. Little twist, opposite elbow to the outside of the knee. Those abs pulling back strong, trying to stay in the core. Pull it, it back into center. And we're gonna turn the leg out, reaching opposite hand to the inside of the foot. 
reaching up towards that sky every time. Stay tall in the spine. Nice, feet nice and wide. Here we go, let's take it down into our squats. We're just gonna start with the pulse. So feet a little bit wider than your hips, weight in your heels. And then find that position nice and low, elbow pull back. Squeezing the shoulder blades down the spine. Neck is long, chest is open. Heel lifts, little pulses. And we switch it out for four. One more time, take it down for four. Three, two, and switch. Four, three, two, and both heels down, back into those pulses, keeping the shoulders relaxed. We're gonna stand it tall, dropping the arms down, squeeze the glutes, lift up. Really initiate the movement from your core and lead the tailbone to the back edge of your mat. Weight stays in the heels. And then we're gonna take this into a calf raise. So when you come into your squat, transfer the weight back each time into your heels, and then come up high onto those toes. Always think about your posture as we're working, moving through here. Heel lifts, and let's switch it out for four. One more set, take it four. And switch, four. Both those back down towards the mat. Bring those hands into center. We're gonna take it into some toe taps side to side. Stay low, start to tap one leg in and out. Really work the tempo here. Yeah, get a little uncomfortable. Let those arms swing to help out your tempo. Staying low in the standing leg. Keep sinking the booty back and the weight is in your heel. Switch it out. Keep it going, halfway there. We're gonna get those thighs burning, so stay low, stay with me. Back to the first side. Yes, try to get an inch lower. Keep it moving. And alternate, out and in. Really tap that foot, you should feel the inner thighs working, bringing the legs together each time. Keep sinking those hips low. Almost there. And shake it out, nice work. We're coming back up to the top. Nice and tall, right in the center of your mat, yeah? Find your breath, let the shoulders go. Grab that jump rope and start to hop it, feet together. Little side to side, right? We wanna feel those obliques work here. And front and back. Think about staying right in the center of your mat. Yeah, stay light on those toes. We want to be kind to our joints. Let's open up into our jumping jacks, reaching wide. Yeah, I think you're painting the side walls and the ceiling as you reach those arms out and up. Adding a cross here. Cross those arms and ankles in front and back. to our little taps. We're gonna come face the side here. We're gonna go into some punches next, so keep that tempo. Bouncing with the feet, one arm crosses the body, punch strong, out and in, right? Twisting through the waist, feel that core work. Always reminding those shoulders to stay down. Nice, back to center, tap it out, tap it out. And let's switch it to the other side. Same rhythm, here we go, punching, cross. I really take the shoulders, that whole top of the torso with you. Halfway. Back to center, cross jack. Nice start out, feet nice and wide. Opening and closing those arms, big sips of air, and back to our knee drives. Try to pick up that tempo a little bit more. If you want, you can even add a little hop here, second round, right? We wanna keep pushing the intensity if you're feeling good. 
and switch in, pull. Think about pulling that navel in towards the spine and switch. Bring it down for four, three, two. We got two sets of twos coming up. Once more, one, two, switch, and back to singles. Right, we draw it into the midline of our body, standing nice and tall, we're back into those marches. Now I want you to extend the leg out a little bit longer this time. Keep the core doing most of the work as we add that twist. The leg doesn't have to be high to be effective, remember that. Right, we don't wanna take this all into the hip flexors. So really stay present with your body as we move through, reaching opposite hand to the inside of the foot. Adding a kick this set, flex those toes, reaching the palms towards the toes. Keep the abs pulling back in the opposite direction. Yeah, almost there. I know those hip flexors are working overtime. Nice. We're gonna go into a nice big wide squat here. So get low, we're gonna turn it in, turn it out. Working from the tops of the thighs, think right into that panty line. Yeah, carving it out. Staying wide this time. Really stack the spine so the shoulders are right over the hips. Arms reach out wide to the side. Lifting one heel up, back to those heel pulses, and we switch. One more set, just like that. Pulse down for four. And switch. Nice, both heels down. Lift and lower right through center. We take a pulse. Pulse, pulse, and squeeze to stand. Pulse, 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 and squeeze, lift. Every time you straighten your legs, think about engaging your inner thighs, squeezing your glutes, lifting the pelvic floor and that spine. Back to our heel lifts, down and up, down and up. And now we're gonna take this into a forward lunge. Really rotate the hips and shoulders towards the front edge of the mat each time. Stay low, keep pulsing. Shoulders are stacked right over the hips. You feel that length through the back of your thigh and leg, reaching forward. We're gonna dive down here. Lift that leg up as high as you can and squeeze from the booty here. So the spine is still working. Light touch on the floor. If you can't quite reach the floor, grab a chair, grab some blocks, whatever you gotta do. And we're gonna bend the knees and kick it back. Bend and kick. Think really crossing the legs here. Good, big kick each time. Really cross those inner thighs. Squeeze the knee over. Now hold it up, point your toes, and go back to those pulses. This time, find a little bit more control. I want you to bring maybe one or both hands up as you keep pulsing. Pinky toe reaching towards the sky. Now option, bring those arms forward for more of a challenge. Reaching long in the entire body, fingertips to toes. We're gonna drop right back to center and shake it out. Good job, big breath up. Woo, okay. From our ground plie, second position, open nice and wide. We're taking this to the second side. So just start to find your pulses. Knees wide, one heel lifts and lower, up and down, right? We're taking this into the other direction. We're gonna add that rotation, open, Moving from the hips, square the hips to the front of the mat each time. Last one, stay forward. Get low, really ground yourself, right? Your feet are as if you're on railroad tracks, so they're not like stacked in one straight line. You have about six to 10 inches between those legs. Dive forward finding your arabesque lift. Light touch on the floor. 
Again, if you need a chair, if you need your yoga blocks, grab onto them. Keep that spine long, keep the abs lifting, and pulse from your glute. Cross and punch it back. Cross and punch. Cross and punch. Think abs are lifting away from your thigh here. Even when you bend your knees, keep scooping the belly up. Press back through your heel, extending both legs as long as you can get them. Good, work that cross, feel those inner thighs. And last one, we stay up, point the toes, find more control, find the balance. Maybe one, maybe both hands. Come into your prayer position. Keep squeezing through the glute. Maybe the arms reach forward if you want to add more of a challenge. Lengthen that body all the way fingertips to toes. Hold on to it, hold on to it. Fight for it, fight for it. Freeze, keep lifting up. Almost there. And release down. Good, just take it right into your forward fold. Shake it out, pull yourself in. You can take a soft bend in your knees here. Hands down towards the mat. I want you to step your legs back into your plank, shoulders over your wrist. Mountain climbers, start with a slow tempo. So I want you to feel the abdominal scoop, just like our standing marches. Now we're doing in our plank position and then start to run it out. Pick up the tempo, keep the same control, lightness on the balls of your feet. Spine is long, right? We're not rounding the back. We're trying to maintain that neutral position as much as we can. Exhale up and back into your dog. Take a breath here. Drive the heels down towards the mat and then start to lift and lower. Legs as straight as you can get them. Lift and lower. Keep the tailbone pressing back. Keep lifting up and out of your shoulders. Stay forward, snake through into your plank, lower and lift. Inhale forward, exhale up, lower and lift. Ripple the spine, back up and lower the heels, lift. Lower, up and down lift lower stay forward we're going to take it into spider-man so opening up the knees try to tap that knee to the outside of your elbow or tricep shoulders staying forward right over those wrists up up pick up the tempo a little bit here keeping that same control really squeeze through the oblique squeeze it in Good, hold on to it, keep pressing the floor away. Exhale up and back into your dog. Walk those feet in. Forward fold, shake it out. Let any tension from the head, neck, or shoulders just drain out as we round up. Back to standing, give yourself some shoulder rolls. We are back to the top with our prances. Whew, you know the drill now, so just tapping those toes. Stay light on the feet. Grab your jump rope, both feet together. Right, like you've got one leg hopping up and over. And we'll go into a little twist this set. Twisting side to side. Heels right and left, right and left. Really make it work through the waist. I always think of a washing machine agitator, even though we don't have those anymore. But back in the day when we used to have an old washing machine agitator. <laughs> jump squats, let's do it. Get low. Open and jump it in. Reach for the mat, keep that spine straight. Open, reach and in. Get those hips low and in. Open and up, down. And up, we're gonna push the tempo here. So I want you to stay low, reach for the mat, in and open. Good, just work your tempo. A little bit faster, try to get out of your comfort zone. All right, push yourself. Down, up. Woo, jumping jacks. Open up the chest, let's go, reach it out. Into our scissor jumps, forward and back, forward and back. Staying light on the feet. Double jumps, two forward, and switch, and switch, and switch. Back to singles. Stay quick, stay light, reaching the arms longer now. Big range of motion. Feeling the resistance as you move with those arms. And toe taps, bring it down. Let the heart start to come down a little bit. Tap and push, tap and push. Good, letting the chest open up. And feet nice and wide, big inhale, reach the arms towards the sky, exhale, release forward. 
Hands towards the mat, let the head hang. Bend the knees slowly, round up. Woo, we're going into some arms. So I want you to keep those knees slightly bent. Palms are back. Thumbs are under, pinkies are up, and we're just lifting those hands straight up. And push back. One back, one up. Keep that rotation. Try to get those thumbs under as much as you can. Opening up the chest here. Hold the palms back. Circle forward. If this feels uh, necky into your traps, into the tops of your shoulders, lower the arms a little bit, but try not to drop them completely. Good, slice it forward and back. So thumbs, pinkies, thumbs, pinkies, slicing like you're hitting a wall in front of you. So go right through the corners of the chest, it's into that bra line area. Good, stay with me. Palms front, push, push. Still bra line, stay strong through your center. Don't let the chest move around, right? So much strength we, we create and we find through that stability. Pushing down, 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 down. Activating the lats here, underneath the armpits, through the sides of the body. Push, 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 push. And a little forward and back. So like you're drawing a rainbow up and back, drawing that arc. Keep the palms pressing down. Really feel resistance through those hands. Nice, we're gonna flex the palms, take another set of circles. Little bend in those elbows, we don't wanna lock out the elbows. And reverse your direction. Put a smile on your face if you can, it really helps. Bicep curls, we're pressing out. So create that resistance, especially on the way out, and then bring those arms right in line with your shoulders. Push, open, close, chest press. When the elbows come in, I want them to touch, not just the hands. Squeeze the elbows. Hold it in, hold it in, glue those forearms. Yes, pump it up, pump it up, we're almost there. Ooh, fight for the finish, fight for the finish, right? This is the sweet spot, this is the sweet spot. Get low into your chair. Lift the abs up, stick the tailbone back. Draw the shoulders away from your ears. I want you to pull the arms back and imagine trying to clap your hands. Big swan arms, you're gonna tap the outsides of the wrist overhead and squeeze the palms together in the back. Squeeze and back. So really opening the chest here, yeah, we're also working the postural muscles. We're working in our chair position so our lower body is on fire. If it's not, get lower. Palms in, just pulse straight up. Get those arms as long as you can. Spine is straight into your tricep extensions. So little bend, it's about the stretch. Kick it back, squeeze, squeeze. Second set, palms up, go back to your lifts. Arms are straight, squeeze it up, squeeze it up like you're high-fiving the sky and start to crisscross those hands. Over, under, don't let your elbows bend. Cross as much as you can. Feel those triceps engaging. Criss, cross, criss, cross. Nice. Standing tall, flick it out, up and down, up and down. So think you're flicking out any tension in the shoulders. One arm pushbacks. So I want the palm to face the back and just slap it away. Back, 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 back. Adding cross the body. Exhale, push it away, feel resistance, push. Push, push, up and out. Yes, ceiling wall, ceiling wall. This arm is just a distraction so the other arm can hold out. Don't let it drop. Here we go, other side, push, push. Cross the body, really feel that work in the abs, twisting. Up and out, reach it tall. Flick the tension out of the shoulders. Move around, whatever you gotta do. Stay with me, we're almost there. We're gonna finish it off back with our little prances and arm circles. Circle, circle. If you need to bring the intensity down, you can always just keep standing still. Stay light on those feet. Circle, round, round, round. Nice, burn it out to the finish line. 
stay with me and open it up. Huge breath. Exhale, release your hands to the floor. Shake the head, yes and no. Round up halfway. Just roll the shoulders, circle it out. Hands towards the floor, spiral one arm up. Open up the chest. You can add a little wrap here, reaching for your opposite thigh. Maybe pulling yourself in. And then unwind, come back to the center, other direction. Opening up the chest. Maybe adding that wrap, so reach into the low back or you can wrap around your back thigh, pulling yourself in. And then unwind, same way you came in. And just back into center, sway it out a few times. And then we'll go for a shoulder stretch, clasping your hands together, lifting your shoulders away from your ears as you let gravity pull them forward, down towards the floor. And gently release, slowly take your time as you round up, stacking the spine tall. Feel that lightness in the body, the joints, and the bones. Inhale, reach the arms to the sky. Pull all that power and energy right into the center of your chest. You built that, feel it, show gratitude and love to yourself. I thank you guys so much. Until next time, namaste.